The not-so-secret value of podcast transcripts, Whiteboard Friday. What are the benefits of transcribing your podcasts and what's the best way to go about getting them on your site? Nikki Mosier breaks it down into eight easy steps in this week's episode of Whiteboard Friday. Click on the whiteboard image above to open a high-resolution version in a new tab. Video transcription. Hey, Moz fans. Here's another edition of Whiteboard Friday. I'm Nikki Mosier, a senior SEO account manager at Two Octobers, and I'm here today to talk to you about the not-so-secret value of podcast transcripts. I got the idea to play around with podcast transcripts after hearing Moz's Brittany Muller talk about machine learning and podcast transcripts at Tech SEO Boost last fall. Plus 15% increase in organic traffic, plus 50% keyword lift. I ended up getting the opportunity to play around with this a little bit with a pro bono client we had at a previous job, the Davis Finney Foundation. They do Parkinson's research in Parkinson's education. They were already podcasting, and then they also had a pretty robust blog, but they weren't adding their podcast transcripts. After about three months of adding a couple of podcast transcripts, we saw some pretty good value for them. We saw a 15% increase in organic traffic to the website and a 50% increase to some keyword lift around the keywords that we were tracking. Google is now indexing podcasts. Why we think this is relevant right now, as you may know, Google announced, at I.O. 2019, that they are indexing podcasts. If you do a search for your favorite podcast, you'll see that come up in the Google search results now. So adding that podcast transcript or any audio transcript to your website, whether that's video, a webinar, or anything, just has some really good value. How to transcribe and optimize your podcasts. I'm going to walk you through the process that I used for them. It's super easy and you can turn around and apply it to your own website. 1. Download your audio file. So obviously, download the audio file, whether that's mp3 or mp4 or whatever you have, from your video, podcast, or your webinars if you're doing those. 2. Transcribe it. You need to be able to get that text transcript, so running it through either temurata.i, both two resources that I've used, both really good. Otter.i seems to be a little cleaner out of the gate, but I would definitely obviously go through and edit and make sure that all of your text and speaker transitions and everything is accurate. 3. Figure out which keywords the content should rank for. Next up is figuring out what keywords that you want that content to rank for, so doing some search volume research, figuring out what those keywords are, and then benchmarking that keyword data. So whether your website is already ranking for some of those keywords or you have new keywords t for more on this story, visit the news article link.